Usually when one wants to make market research or for example a shop wants their client to apply for bonus cards, it is necessary to create a form which later on will be printed out and distributed to people for filling and then there is a need to process all these forms and collect valuable data. In this screencast I would like to demonstrate how Abi Form Designer, which goes as a part of Abi Flexi Capture, can be used for creation and further printing of forms. And what is more important, that form definitions created by this application can be used for further automation of data capture process. Imagine that one shop would like to start a new bonus card program for its customers and any customer who would like to apply for a bonus card will have to indicate his personal data and some contact details in a short paper form which we will have to design now. Ok, now let's try to create this form. I run Abi Form Designer which goes as a part of Abi Flexi Capture and it offers to me to create a new document on the basis of uh, several templates. So I select uh, empty template uh, with base elements. Here it is, form is created. Base elements are form title, anchors and barcode. These elements are used to identify document type and its orientation after scanning. Now let's take a look on page properties. Here we have got several styles available and it seems to me that for us, since I'm planning to print out these forms on black and white laser printer, uh, the most convenient one is grey dropout form. Drop out, that means that grey color will disappear after scanning. Then, since we are not asking for many information, A5 size will be more than enough for us. And here there are some other uh, properties available, but we are not interested much in these properties. So I press OK button. Now let's change the title of our form, so double click on title element and we are able to edit the text. So let it be bonus card application form. Also I would like to change a little bit fonts and font size. So we can make it bigger and more visible. Ok, now that's great. Also we can drag and drop this title to a needed position like this. Information we would like to obtain from the customers can be divided into two types personal information and contact details. Therefore I suggest to unite uh, all the fields on our form into two groups. So I use uh, group element and simply draw first group and change its name to personal information OK, and below I create another one group for contact details. OK, we're changing its title again. OK, so the groups are ready. Now let's create entry fields for customer's name and surname. All we have to do is just select uh, entry field instrument and draw field in a needed position. OK, so we change title. This is name. And we draw another one for surname. OK. Also here we have got some tools for alignment. And as you could see, when you extend the size of the field, it automatically draws needed boxes for letters. Good. We also would like to obtain date of birth of our customers and therefore we should create 
date field so again I choose uh, appropriate tool and simply draw it in a needed position here it is it's ready let's change title good and I think it is necessary to move a little bit to the left the title and as you may see date field was created automatically and we even have small hints here so here one should enter days month and year and we place it next to name and surname the last part of personal information is customers gender so the best way is to create two check marks one is for male and second one for female good let's place it one next to other and uh, it is better to unite it in one subgroup which we will call gender okay that's ready now let's pass to the contact details in order to send newly issued bonus card it is necessary to know clients address and therefore I am creating new field change its title to the address and also it is obvious that uh, one line won't be enough uh, to indicate complete address and therefore I'm going to marking properties and switch on multiple rows support at this point I am able to add as much lines as needed but I think that two lines should be okay for our purpose good address field is created also since uh, recognition quality and quality of further data capture depends on handwriting I would like to help uh, our customers and uh, to insert so-called filling template which shows how all letters and numbers should be written as you may see there are a lot of uh, different languages available but we are interested in English and here is our filling template apart from address we would like to collect a customers telephone number his email but uh, since creation of these fields is similar to the name and surname fields I won't waste your time and simply open pre-created form finally this is our form as you may see I have added some more fields in contact details group and also added a check mark for the clients who would like to obtain information about new products via email and two more fields one is date of filling and area for customers signature at this point we are able to send this form for printing or it is possible to export it to various format such as PDF for instance to send it uh, via email for further printing for example also what we can do to save this form in so-called XML form definition format which can be later on easily imported into IB Flexi uh, capture and used for capture of data from scanned forms I printed out several forms and distributed them for filling then I scanned all field forms and now I'm going to use Abi Flexi Capture to capture and to save uh, field information into Microsoft Excel with minimum typing. Okay, I'm launching Abi Flexi Capture, and in the first step, uh, I have to create new document definition. But since we have exported our form into form definition file, I want to create our document from the scratch I simply make an import and now 
as you can see our document is almost ready we have got uh, all fields uh, uh, indicated and uh, probably the only thing we have to tune a little bit is export settings so we already have one export destination and this is uh, to export data into Microsoft Excel file but let me indicate uh, exactly the file name where I would like to have my data also we probably need uh, to add the additional export destination in order to save initial uh, forms uh, in searchable PDF format so I select here export to image files I press next here I am uh, indicating export path uh, and uh, file naming it is possible to adjust file naming using templates and uh, also here we may indicate uh, file type and I would like to use PDF and I'm asking program to create searchable PDFs I press next and uh, finish button so now we have got two export destination one for our data another one for initial images I press uh, apply and OK button basically at this point uh, we may close document definition editor and uh, in order to work with the newly created document we have to publish it and now everything is ready for processing of our scanned files at this point we are ready to process our forms let's load them from the folder load images and now Abi Flexi Capture will automatically start recognition process and in a couple of seconds you will see that all documents are identified but uh, since confidence level is not 100% we have to run verification but what is important that uh, in most of the cases it will be necessary to confirm accuracy of recognition and data capture so there will be no need to type a lot of things now let's select our documents and run verification process at first step it is offered to complete so-called group verification numbers can be verified out of its context and therefore it is offered to confirm that uh, group of these symbols was correctly recognized as character 1 since everything is fine in this case I'm pressing confirm all button but here we have got first mistake uh, character 7 was recognized as 2 so to fix the error I'm pressing 2 button and press confirm everything is right in this case here again and again everything was correct now we are passing to so-called field verification and uh, uh, Abi Flexi Capture marks with red color letters where it's not confident in this particular case everything is fine so I simply press confirm field button here again everything is correct and this is first mistake number 15 was recognized as LS so let's fix it simply by typing correct uh, number and we press confirm everything is right in this case again no mistakes everything is correct here also 14 was recognized as LU so let's fix it by typing 14 and press confirm field here we have two mistakes in word Nicosia it should be O here and A here and we press confirm field there is a dot which should be deleted here everything is right correct correct and it should be I instead of L
and we are done. For the time being, our documents are ready for export. Now let's proceed with the export of our documents. At this step, Abiflexi Capture uh, writes uh, captured information into Microsoft Excel file and uh, initial forms are saved in searchable PDF files. Let's take a look uh, on export folder. As you may see, we have got uh, several PDF files and one Excel file in our export folder. For PDF file naming, templates were used. For instance, uh, this application was filled by Maria. Let's open it. As you may see, document is saved in searchable format. That means that you can run search inside this document or copy some text for usage in our in another application like this. And uh, let's take a look uh, on our Excel file. As you may see, all captured data is saved here and it is ready for further analysis and the issue of uh, bonus cards. In this screencast I have shown you creation of very simple application form. But as you could see there are a lot of uh, features and options available in Abi Form Designer as well as in Abi Flexi Capture. And therefore it is possible to create and what is more important to process automatically uh, forms, uh, questionnaires or even tests of uh, any degree of complexity. I hope that you enjoyed this screencast and found it useful. Thank you very much for your time.